Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Sukadin. Last time was a bit of a castle exploration video mostly. Got a couple of new recruits before that, but yeah. Kind of a bonus, not really a bonus episode, but an episode of just pure nothingness. This time it's we go see what's happening back here in Warriors Village now that we have the Star Dragon Sword from two episodes ago. Talk to Zorak over here. And we found a way to defeat him via the awesome dragon sword. Watch your tongue. Say hello to a human. You say hello. A talking sword with this will really defeat the vampire? Of course. Vampires are nothing to me. They're nothing. So he says we have no proof that he'll actually destroy it, but we'll find out soon enough. Soon enough. Wedding invitation? Oh god, Tangar is gonna get married to Necklord? Oh hell no. Oh hell no. Let's do this. And apparently they're gonna go ahead of me. That's fine. That's fine. I'll meet you guys there. But let's talk to Hicks real quick. Oh, Hicks isn't gonna go with us. He's just gonna sit here like a little pansy and not even gonna go fight Necklord on behalf of his beloved. What a pansy ass, pansy ass, pansy. Pansy ass pansy. Now, first thing you'll probably notice is my party is slightly different. I told you I was going to put Luke in there, and I put Luke in there. I also decided to try out a couple characters who I never really give a chance, and that's Morgan the Blind art Martial Artist, and Mr. Kirk over there, the cutthroat that we recruited over at the, uh, at the Lorimar Fortress, the place with all the graves. Anyway, there's, these are two characters I never really use too much. I've, like, probably never used... Morgan ever and Kirk maybe once anyways they're just strength characters nothing magical about them Morgan is actually very similar to Pawn he uses his bare fists he fights it with the his of bare hands I might as well just show a few battles with the, with these with this crew because I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be able to use all these characters in a second anyways Luke I'll keep him in the party, of course. He's my new mage. In fact, I'll probably be using Luke for most of the rest of the game. He is actually very useful. I did switch his rune, however. You remember how he started with the wind rune? Well, I switched him over to the lightning rune so he'll have more offensive spells. Since I don't really need those debuffs or healing spells right now, I really don't. Mega medicines will suffice for now. Anyway, look at this big-ass fucking mansion of a castle. Reminds me of Castlevania, especially with this organ-ass music. Very very vampiric type music and this is probably my favorite part in this entire game no joke at all let's go men now is the time to show the power of the warriors village attack oh what the f neck lord just walks out the front door <laughs> my my how rude of you to show up at my wedding with all those weapons give me back tangar i'm afraid not She's my beloved bride. With the sunset, our wedding will begin. Ah, ah, ah. Monkey G, you're the leader of the Liberation Army, correct? I'd like you to be my most honored guest tonight. If you don't make it to the top of the castle by sunset, Tenga will be mine forever. Understood? Indeed, Necklord. Indeed. This gate will not admit the uninvited. Magical doors, damn you! Do not make fools of us! Stop it! Oh god, you're gonna learn the hard way. Bam! Owned by the door. Guess only the people who are allowed to go in can go in. So, Funky G and his crew. It'd be cool if it was just Funky G, but I guess his crew is admitted as well. In we go. W wait a minute! Oh no, now Hicks is gonna grow some balls? Take me with you. I'll go too. Oh god, you can't even go. You're not even a warrior, noob. That is the law of our village. It's true. I'm still a novice and not yet strong, but still, I want to save Tengar with my own hands. I promised her. Please let me keep my promise. Okay, come along. If you tell him he'll be in the way, he still wants to go. So, but thou must situation. And now, all of a sudden, he's going to get the blessings of the leader of the warrior villages. For you are a warrior, or Hicks of Warrior's Village, son of Cliff the Crusader. I hereby accept you as a true warrior and grant permission to name your sword. What's he going to name his sword? 
I wonder. We'll find out that sooner than you might think. Or unless he's going to say it right now. Oh, wow. He already knows what he's going to name it. Made that decision years ago. Well, that's cool. Anyway, Hicks is going to join the party, so we got to drop somebody out of the party. And he's a short-range character as well, so I think we're going to go ahead and just drop Morgan. I don't know. I just didn't really want a pawn-like character in my party right now, so we'll, we'll go with Hicks. Hicks is short-range, though, so make sure you leave space for your short-range characters with him in there. Slide him in there. Let's do a little bit of swappages real quick. Keep Luke behind your best defender. I'll put Funky G behind Hicks and Kirk. Eh. Actually, we'll put Victor in the middle. That's better. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. As for equipment, Hicks can have a shield. He starts with shitty-ass equipment. Luckily for me, I brought a couple guard rings. Now, I actually got an extra guard ring on the way here. If you saw in one of those battles, one of my spoils was a guard ring, which is actually one of the best... One of the best uh, accessories in the whole game, actually, which is really nice. Oh, but uh, of course I had it on Morgan when he left. Dumbass me. I didn't even think about it. Well, anyways, we're inside uh, Necklord's castle, so we get to hear this awesome organ playing for the rest of the game, which is fucking cool. I love it. Oh, look, a free save point. Kind of useless to me, since I'm not worried about dying here. But if you need to save it, there is a save point right here in the entrance. There's also on the other side a treasure... And apparently a zombie. Let's talk to the zombie. What's up, zombie? Okay, apparently it's a battle. Wait, did the zombie make me fight, or did I accidentally run into a random battle? I think I accidentally ran into a random battle. Apparently those little ghosts have very good evasion, too, so be careful. Go, Hicks. A go, Hicks. A go, Hicks. The only bright side of Hicks is that he actually starts pretty much on your level, so you don't got to worry about him being under-leveled. Man, screw these guys. They dodge too good. I might have to show you the power of Funky G's rune here in a second. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Check it. I'm going to show you exactly what... Well, you guys have seen Deadly Fingertips. I'm going to use that first. And then I'll show you guys what the other spells do soon. In fact, for the boss here, I'll probably be using Funky G's rune that actually does damage. But... You guys already know Deadly Fingertips gets rid of one enemy and one enemy only. Auto, auto kills them, which is really cool. I have to show you his other new spell, which is called Hell. And it's actually like having a little bit better. Anyway, want to hear something interesting? Sure. I'll hear it. But it's not for free. Okay. Um. Well, let's just pay him the most. See what happens. You see Master Necklord Googly Goo. You idiot. Okay, okay, I'll return the money. Okay, wait, maybe if you pay him a certain amount, he'll tell you something else? I really don't remember this guy. I thought he was like a free healing, but I guess I was wrong. Maybe if you pay him 10000 Yeah, there are some paintings on the third floor. And Master Necklord, don't look. Second painting from the right, I said don't look. And then the third one from the right, stop looking. Anyway, that's pretty much your clue on how to do this little puzzle here. I'll just tell you how to do it when I get there. You have to look at these paintings in a certain order. But we'll get there when we get there. Anyways, now we're going to fight a Hell Unicorn. Or what I like to call a Unicombi. Because that's what they're called in Sukaden 2. But anyways, I'm going to show you what Hell does. Hell does pretty much exactly what it says. It sends everyone straight to Hell. It's basically the all version of Deadly Fingertips. It attacks all enemies. And... Sucks them into a black hoe. Literally, look at that. Just sucks them into a black hoe, and boom, victorious. It's like the X Zone spell from Final Fantasy VI. Basically identical. Sucks all enemies in, kills them all instantaneously. Fantastic spell. You can only use it three times, and then you'll run out though. So, ration it to battles that will annoy you. That one was just an example. I will not be using it in every battle, obviously, but I will be using it in battles that are going to be annoying until I can start let going, letting go of battles. Why do I say let going? That doesn't even make any sense. I guess my mind moves faster than my mouth. And this is probably one of the coolest parts of the whole castle where you can actually see the outside area. Where you can actually see what the sky looks like. And it kind of dictates what time of day it is. Even though it's not exactly how it works. Ooh. I have... I didn't realize Luke got all the way to level 4 spells now, man. I gotta show some of that shit off too. I'll definitely be showing off some more Luke spells. 
one more health spell, and then next time I fight a big group of enemies, I'll just start using lots of Luke magic to show you how that works. I kind of can't wait till I get the higher level fire rune, because that's actually the rune I'm planning on putting on Luke in the long run. It's called the Rage Rune. And then Luke can use the highest level fire spells. That's going to be fun. Be kicking some ass with Luke. Very excited to show you guys how awesome Luke can become. Big time. And as I said when I got to this castle, this is one of my favorite parts of the game. In fact, it's probably my favorite. And a lot of it has to do with the music. The music here is fantastic. Love that organ. I've always loved that organ. And you know what? Let's show what Black Shadow does. Just, just for one. Just to show it. And we'll go ahead and bust out a, a rainstorm because that attacks all enemies. You, you've seen... Oh, wow. I forgot we could use some spells with Cleo as well. Dancing Flames. I don't think I've shown you guys this yet. I almost forgot about Cleo. Okay, I changed my mind already in my head. I forgot about Cleo using magic. I'll probably put the Rage Rune on Cleo, not the, not on Luke, because uh, Cleo's already my Fire Mage with the Fire Rune. I'll just take that off and put the Rage Rune on when I get it. As for Luke, uh, well, now I kind of have to change what I was originally planning to do. But yeah, you've already seen this spell, I'm pretty sure. I've used it with Flick, because Flick also has a Lightning Rune. Hence the reason why I don't plan on having the Lightning Rune on Luke for the long term. Because I do plan on using Flick again at some point, because Flick is actually a really useful character, because he's front row magic. Front row magic is invaluable. Antitoxin. And it looks like there's a nice painting on the wall. Doesn't have any significance other than being cool looking, I guess. Oh, this battle. Let's let's just stick to my little magic. It's it's fun to use some magic. It really is. And we'll just attack with him. We'll use a raging glow on the hell unicorn, and we'll do one more dancing flames, trying to get rid of those little bastards in the front row. Die. I suppose if you're gonna use Luke in this game, a good a good uh thing to use on him would be your speed rune pieces because he's actually really slow. So if you want him to hit like his magical spell sooner than your other character's attack, well, you're going to have to up his speed to do that. So why don't you use some speed rune pieces on him? Not a bad idea. In fact, I did I figured out how to do the multiplying item trick where you can use your rune pieces as many times as you want. So stay tuned for me showing that off. That's why I haven't used all my rune pieces yet. I still plan on doing that. Definitely plan on doing that. All right. Now, another thing I should mention is, didn't I put... Uh, maybe I didn't. I thought maybe I did. Never mind. Ignore what I was about to say, because it wasn't important. Not yet, at least. Okay, I was going to say, is this another treasure? Sound setting one. Cool. Now we can see what other sound settings Melody has. Maybe we can get a cool new sound effect to use for our menu later. I know I'll be changing my menu sound effect at some point. I just didn't have any good ones. It's just sad that they don't give you the sound person and the window person till the like some of the last people you can recruit because by the time you get them you're already like two thirds of the way through the game so it's you don't really have any affinity toward changing anything because you've already been using the same shit for almost the whole game. So it's like too little too late kind of thing. But anyways, these are the paintings. You must look at them in a certain order. The order is 32 is 41 so start with the third one chestnut tree and it asks you if you want to take a look so if you want to take a look just say do so we looked at the third painting click and if you see the click that means you pick the right painting if you see nothing then you pick the wrong painting and you got to go back to the previous room and start over otherwise you can't do it anyways I said it was 3 2 is 41 so check the little girl the peasant girl picture one and last but not least we go look at the picture of neck lord after we kill one of these larvae Die, larvae. Die. The larvae really aren't that strong. They're just annoying because they have high evasion. Otherwise, not too bad. Now, I told you that the Clawn Temple was actually a good place to do some leveling up and uh, money grinding if you just want to do it with battling. But actually, Necklord's Castle is probably the best place in the entire game. Because by the time you get to the point where you can let go of the enemies, you can kick their ass and they drop decent amount of decent decent amounts of cash yeah that's what I was trying to say let's bust out some more magic though shall we ball of lightning in fact I'm not gonna do the spell I was gonna do with the main character I'll save that we'll hit a ball of lightning on the unicorn and we'll hit a Ooh, we can do explosion I'll save explosion I'll save the explosion for the boss here it'll be a nice little amount of damage 
There's really no reason to save your runes in this game. Nothing is too difficult. It really isn't. I don't even think I've been using Cleo's rune like at all, have I, guys? I've been kind of skimping out on runes, you guys. I'm kind of sorry for that. But in this in this Sukudin in particular, I just don't use runes a whole lot. I just don't. The Soul Leader rune, while it has badass spells, they're not particularly useful in boss battles. And then in random battles, I'm always too strong to fight the random battles anyway, so I just auto-attack. I don't even think about using runes most of the time. Sorry if that's just how the game goes. That's just how the cookie crumbles. And we can actually start let going, let going of battles. Yes, I'm going to keep saying it wrong. Letting go of battles now that we're getting closer to the end and we're taking up a lot of time. I know I said it's a good place to get money, but on camera I would like to get through here as quickly as possible. And yes, that was some Earth Boots. Earth Boots is a nice little accessory. I probably should equip it. Um, I'll think about who I want to equip it on for a minute before I worry about it. I think this is the way I have to go, actually. Yes, it is. Yeah. If you see the room with vampire coffins, you're going the right way. But I want to go back and get this other room because I'm pretty sure there's a treasure in here. And I am correct. Green paint. Can't forget that. It's one of the key items for the Ivanov the painter. If you want to see the whole painting finished. Gotta get all them paints. Gotta get all them paints, baby. All them paints. And I think this might be the last main floor. No, I think there's one more, actually. I take that back. We still have one more outside area to walk across. So once, you, once you've seen three outside areas, you are closing in on the end. We've seen two so far. This is the third one. Earth Rune Piece. I gotta really do something with those elemental rune pieces. I'm pretty sure I equipped some of them on one person. But it must not be one of the characters I'm using right now. I don't remember now. Huh. Where did I put them on? I don't remember. Yeah. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. And this means it's almost nighttime. Quick. We gotta get to the top before they get married. Quick. Faster. Run. Funky G. Run. <sighs> We're almost there. Almost there. We got two more rooms to get some treasures from. And then we'll be done. Last one here, magic rune piece. That'll up somebody's magic. Definitely we'll be using that on probably Luke just to make his magic ridiculous. And in here we got the Cape of Darkness, which is a really good accessory as well to go along with those earth boots I picked up a moment ago. So before we hit up the last staircase, and yes, this is the last staircase now, let's see what we can do with our equipment real quick. Can anybody equip this? Ooh, Hicks can equip the full helmet. Well, in that case, go ahead, because you're the only character I have who can have one. That doesn't have full armor already. So for the Earth Boots, let's give those to Funky G. Because Funky G can never have too much armor. He really can't. Oh wow, it's better than the Guard Ring, huh? huh. Didn't expect that. Well, in that case, give the Guard Ring to... Let's give it to Luke. Luke's defense is kind of shitty. He could use a Guard Ring over the Silverlet any day. And the Silverlet, let's keep rotating. Anybody? Anybody? Kirk can have it. Oh, no he can't. We do have the Cape of Darkness as well. Let's give that to somebody. We'll give it to Victor. Victor's the main character. It'll make him awesome. Alright, good enough, good enough. Let's go upstairs and confront Necklord. And shit, I didn't heal, did I? Fuck my life. It's alright, I wasn't that bad. We'll just heal in the first round. Oh, yes. More organ music. I love all of it. It's so epic. The organ is one of the most epic instruments ever. It's just too bad it's always associated with church. Love it. Fucking love it. And there's Tengar in her pretty little dress. Very ominous music. I love it. I love it. Bring it on, bitch. You sure took your time. Oh, wait. That wasn't the right voice. We gotta do our vampire voice. I've come to save you, Tengar. Hex, I'm so happy you came. No, wait a minute. You speak as if I'm going to lose. Oh, of course you're going to lose, bitch. Time to get Throwdown with the Star Dragon Sword, Northwind. Do you seriously call his town Northwind? I'll just tell you now, that's a typo. His town is not called Northwind. You'll find that out later, though. Perhaps I've seen you at... What was that village? But Northwind doesn't ring a bell. Northwind? Seriously. Fix the typo, man. I'll make you... Okay, anyway, Star Dragon, let's do this. One or two vampires like this are one. 
Wait, like this one or easy work, sorry. I can't read. I just can't read. And Hicks is ready to go too in the name of his sword. Tenga! He named his sword after his love. Is it really a surprise? I mean, Flick's sword is named after Odessa, if I've never told you that guys before that before, you guys should know that. But anyways. If he thinks he's gonna take my rune, he is sadly mistaken. Okay, so the battle with Necklord. You can't actually hurt him right off the bat. The only way to hurt him is to bust his face in with the Star Dragon Sword. That's the only way you can start hurting him. So, the only person who can attack in the first round will be Victor because he's going to attack last because he's so slow. So that's actually going to work in my favor in terms of healing. In fact, I'm going to heal Kirk. I'm going to have Kirk heal uh, Victor. And I'll have main character heal Kirk so he'll get healed faster. Luke can go ahead and heal... Uh, Cleo, I guess. And Cleo can heal Hicks. That should be fine. Um, yeah, the only way to, uh, break his shield, because if you remember when we attacked him earlier in Warrior's Village, we couldn't hit him at all. Well, boom! When you hit him with the Star Dragon Sword, that breaks his little barrier, and now he's vulnerable to anything and everything. So prepare to get owned, Neck Lord. Yeah, that move right there hurts people in the front row, row more than it hurts people in the back row, so you got to be a little bit careful. And since I have no healing um, spells, which I, I'm going to regret that. I'll tell you that right now. I'm going to regret not having healing spells here. But I don't have healing spells, so we're going to have to just be mindful of our damage. And for now, we're just going to go all out on him with all our highest level spells, and then we'll start focusing on healing. So this is Explosion. Which is a fantastic fire spell that actually hits all enemies. And you'll get to see another one of these judgments, which is the only spell that Funky G gets that actually does damage and doesn't auto kill things. And no, you cannot auto kill Neck Lord, so don't even try. Hicks and Victor are going to do their attacks, so is Kirk. And boom. And then we'll finish it off with a Luke spell. Wait, did Luke do his spell? Did Luke not do his spell? What happened? I don't know what happened there, but Luke didn't do his spell. Kind of disappointing. All right, Kirk, you heal yourself, Kirk. Luckily, Necklord is slow, because this could be bad if he wasn't. I'll heal him. And we'll heal... Wait, did I heal? Wait, 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 wait. Go back, 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 back. Okay. Hold on. I should have gave a Mega Medicine to Hicks. This is going to suck. I'll just heal Victor a little bit. Victor, attack. Kirk, heal yourself. Funky G, heal. Cleo... Luke, hit him with a ball of lightning. And Cleo, you hit uh, somebody else with healing. Hicks. Did I heal Hicks? I don't even know. Whatever. I'm just going to be careful and make sure Hicks doesn't die. I should be good. Was I not paying attention? Oh, no. He did that spell last turn. I just wasn't paying attention. I'm just stupid. Don't mind me. I'm just stupid. Oh. And like I said, luckily Necklord is slow, so he'll always hit last. And fuck! Luke died? God damn it. I didn't plan well for this battle, did I? Whatever. My life. Victor, heal yourself. Kirk, attack. Main character, whatever, Funky, you heal yourself to be safe. And we'll have Cleo heal. No. We'll have Cleo hit him with some dancing flames. Gotta just make sure you keep dealing damage. Don't waste your time healing everyone. I hope this doesn't come back to bite me in the ass that I did not... I'm bringing a healer who did all heals. Which just means I would have to have somebody with the water rune. Or the flowing rune, which I actually got a couple episodes ago. We should be okay though, right? I'm not particularly worried because the main character kicks a lot of ass. So as long as I keep him alive, we'll probably be okay. Um, let's heal Victor with that. Victor, hit Mega Medicine on a Hicks. Kirk, use it on yourself. Main character, go ahead and bust out an attack. Cleo... We'll survive one more turn, so hit him with the Dancing Flames. We should be okay. We should be okay. I don't know how much HP he has. It's one downside to my guide. I didn't mark how much HP bosses had. And there's no really, like, scan ability like Final Fantasy games have. Finally, he stopped doing the damn all attack. That all attack was pissing me off. Usually he doesn't do the attack that hits all every turn like he was. This is much better when he starts hitting you with that vampire move. Because you can actually, like, not get killed every damn turn. For now, let's hit... 
Um, um, actually, go back to Hicks real quick. Let's have Hicks use a regular medicine to keep Kirk in the plus. Then we'll have Victor attack. Have Kirk use an antitoxin on himself. Funky G can attack regular, and I don't have any more high-level spells for Cleo, so let's... Eh, Firestorm will probably do more than her regular attack, so we'll stick to that for now. Die, Necklordia. Die. Burn in hell. Yeah, I might have to do regular attacks from here on out with Cleo. Firestorm just isn't that good. Keep that stuff healed up. Keep that stuff healed up. Ah, uh, fuck you and your electrical attack, bitch. Yeah, his attack all spells, man. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Alright, Victor. Hit that Mega Medicine on Kirk. Kirk can go ahead and attack. Main character. Hit him with a regular attack. And Cleo needs to heal because she's dying. Die, Neck Lord, die. I mean, we've been doing okay amounts of damage, but without Luke, we're just not dealing as much damage as I was hoping. Hit him with that big damage, Kirk. Alright, Hicks, heal, Kirk, Victor, heal, nothing, because you suck. We got no more with him. I don't have any more with anyone, man. I'm I'm probably, wow, I might lose this, guys. If I lose this, I apologize for sucking, but man, we're going to cut it close, I'll tell you that. I hope I don't lose. If I do lose, man, this is going to be noob shit. And I'll just end the episode here, and we'll just start next episode after a fail. But man, for a planned ep for a planned LP, I did not come to this boss very prepared, did I? I just kind of came in here winging it, hopefully I could hoping I could defeat him normal. It's not looking too good for me right now, though. Not good at all. I'm just gonna have to kind of hope for some critical hits here. I got really unlucky with his attack pattern, though. Normally he does not attack all that often. Usually, you get a little bit more leeway on the attack all. You really do. All right, well, this is my last turn. I might get a game over, guys. Wow. Ugh, main character is going to get one last blow in there. Finish him? That would have been amazing, though, wouldn't it? Oh, wow, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Can we kill him? Ah! I was hoping. Well, I lost to Necklord. What a noob I am. Sucks to be me. Oh well. Next time, we'll just beat Necklord's ass like a fucking pimp. You'll see. See you guys then. Peace.